Okay. Um, make sure I'm in focus. My yeah, I'm in focus. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, so yeah, I haven't done this in such a long time. I don't know how it's even gonna look. If <laughs> if I'm gonna like this or not. But yeah, it's good to see your smiling faces again. Hopefully, you haven't missed me so much. But I have missed you guys, and it's good to be back. I think I've even forgotten how to do this thing, but I'm happy to record a video today and just to share with you what I've been up to and also to tell you my experience about how it was being on a big set for the first time as a solo shooter. So I haven't recorded a vlog in weeks. Frankly, I haven't even turned on my camera in that long. And it's because, well, I've been traveling in and out, working on two documentaries for a client I worked on a video for last year who happened to like it very much and invited me over to do two more films so it's been good and I think the universe was just conspiring to do things in my favor this way but some things have to be sacrificed maybe that's why I've not done a vlog in such a long time so I have been going in and out of Gita meet me there so I'm working on two documentaries for the Dream Big Ghana Foundation and it's been wonderful I really really enjoyed my stay at Gita this time because I got to explore other parts of the town in telling these two stories Hopefully I can share them with you as soon as it's done and approved and the client also thinks it's okay for me to share them with you. Hopefully I can do that. Um, yeah, I'm in focus. Hopefully I can do that. So that's what I've been up to in and out of Gita and experiencing the whole town and the people and telling the stories and doing what I love. As well as getting the chance to record an audio book for the first time. I also can't mention the clients and what this is about because of course, there are, you know, NDAs and all those things that apply here. So hopefully that also will be shared with you in due time. But today, today, I just wanted to record a video and tell you my experience about what it was like to go behind the scenes of a big set. And this was an invitation from a friend of mine who is a cinematographer, a really, really good cinematographer with a production company, Apag Studios. So he had his gig to work with an agency to do a Ghanaian ad. You know, when we see these ads on TV, you know, just 60 seconds, we like it, you know, it's humorous or it's this or it's that. For a solo shooter, I had never seen firsthand how big sets look like. I mean, I had worked in TV for a short stint, so I kind of know a little bit about, you know, working on sets. But this was a whole different ball game and that's what i'm going to share with you right now so going on set for the first time is is like immediately when i arrived there i mean there were a lot of people obviously so that that took me by surprise that i didn't think there were that many people i didn't think there were going to be that many people on set but then I also i also remember that ah of course it's filmmaking and there's a lot of departments that have to work together to bring that you know one vision to life so there's the cameras there's the sound there's the light and there are all those assistants and directors and you know producers who have to make sure that things come together in a very you know cohesive and harmonious manner so yeah i got to experience that and for me it was such an eye-opener because I love shooting natural lights, for example, and I got to see that, well, you can still get natural looking or natural light looking shots and still be able to light your subject in daylight and make them stand out out of your background and, you know, get the most or the richest looking um, videos as much as possible. And the camera that was being used was the Blackmagic Cinema Pocket or Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro with um, telephoto lens, I think it was on 85, I don't quite remember, but I think they were switching between, yeah, but mostly using 85. Yeah, and there was a director, and you would think actually that, you know, things are faster than, you know, what you see as a finished product, but there were so many takes for 60 seconds, and you would think also that 60 second videos don't take that long, and you know, you can just, quickly just put it together you know just a few shots very deliberate shots and you just put it together but no a lot of options have to happen a lot of takes have to happen 
for it to be you know selected and going through the process of editing before you can get those 60 seconds so there was a lot of people running around there's a lot of more than one person shooting behind the scenes i was there to shoot a video to use as i was invited by my friend he literally said you can come by check how check out how it goes and make a video from it if you want and that's like last month so this is how busy i've been working on client projects and doing other things so experiencing that for myself seeing sound being recorded in two ways because you want to make sure that you're safe so there's the lav mic that has been you know mounted on the subject as well as booming above the subject and recording all of that happens on set and the departments work together making sure that it's safe first of all to be on set things look the way they are supposed to look um, cinematography looks really good directing it's all cohesive and everybody knows what we're supposed to achieve at the end of the day for a solo shooter this was really really good for me to see because I think I mean of course I hope to evolve my career or craft to that point where I'm part of a bigger crew or working on projects that demand such big crews and I need to know what goes where when and how and it was such a fun experience so i'll be sharing the b-roll on the screen as i as i talk with the different departments with lights with the camera with direction with people just shooting you know uh, behind the scenes with sound and you know large modifiers that were being mounted to you know create the soft lights even outside the lights that were used being bounced here and there and all those things I'm going to be sharing them as you know I speak on your screen and basically that's what I've been up to this is what happens behind the scenes of a commercial a big budget commercial and I say big budget here because relatively to me I've never been on any sets bigger than that so that's big budget to me especially as a solo film shooter and I think that if you're a filmmaker as well who shoot solo most of the time like myself and you have friends who happen to have some of these gigs it would be nice to shadow tell them you want to shadow and show up and learn and be on set as well because this was such a huge eye-opener and I really enjoyed myself being on set that day and I hope you can see the amount of work that goes on uh, when these things are being shot I'm gonna end the video here today at least I've showed up and I'm happy about it so I'm going to be back next week see I forgot how to do this thing make sure you click the like button subscribe if you already haven't if you are a returning subscriber I'm happy to see you again and hopefully I don't vanish for that long a time again and I'm still wanting to shoot a lot more documentaries so if you want to collaborate on passion projects short documentaries kindly let me know and also support the endeavor of shooting more documentaries i'll let you know about more about that in my subsequent videos about how you can help support me to make more films in the coming months so in the meantime i hope you enjoyed this video and it's peace for now a lot of noise oh my god i'm done Thank you.